Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to my Let's Play of EU4, Mandate of Heaven as Manchu. And we are going to war for the Mandate of Heaven. I mean, that's that's what we declared for. So, we shall see. In fact, let's see. For Mandate of Heaven. There you go. I mean, it's the whole point of this expansion, and this has been the goal of our campaign so far, is to win a war against the Ming Dynasty. Uh, specifically getting a few provinces so that we can come become the, the Qing dynasty so good stuff uh, you're still going up that direction he's still going towards Kuru let's go that way then it's fine let's see if we can chase him down surely with force march we can get him all right so you guys are not being attrition but you are We've got force march on we'll just chill here maybe that bigger stack will deter him Uh, let's go ahead and turn your first march off. That's going to be fine. So you are actually going to get an engagement here at Kuru. He's locked. Uh, I'm not quite locked yet, but that's okay. I got an amazing general. That's going to be a good engagement. Uh, let's go ahead and just fix our front lines before we just truly jump in there. There we go. Let's just keep an eye on that battle while we keep an eye over here on Beijing. Uh, we do have a couple things against us, but we've got such an amazing general. This is going to go pretty quick. Come on, stack wipe. Did we get a stack wipe? We got a stack wipe. That's awesome. All right, you guys, come on down here. Um, way to stay, I guess. Come on down. Um, I guess we'll turn off force more so that way you get some morale back. You guys can start just... Um, what I'm trying to say? Carpet sieging. In fact, how about you? Right, we'll get to you there, and we'll split you off in a couple different stacks. Right, split. Uh, go there. Split. Go there. Split. Go there. Split. Go there. Uh, split. Go there. I'll start with that. Let's spread them out a little bit. Oh, take a new idea. Uh, don't know that we really care about this. We're going to hold off until we get a little further along in case we can take another tech or something like that. That'll be fine. All right, how about you just come on down here? Oh, he's got a bunch of troops coming over here. Huang Zhu. Where is that? Huangju, oh, right there. 30k stack coming over here to jump on me. Um, 23rd of June. Well, one thing we can do is grab you guys. You're going to come down to Huangju, and actually what you're going to do is you're going to force march. Down to there. Um, you guys should be safe for the moment. 23rd of June, so we got 12 days. Let's go ahead and pull you guys uh, down to here for now. Everybody else should be fine for just a moment. I'll get those guys to come down. Oh, he's got a little 5k stack running around back here. Chengdi, once you get locked, we're going to move this guy off and go out and just stomp on you. Or locked. Jump on you real quick. All right, if he wants to split up his army, I will be perfectly fine with that. All right, he's not coming in on me yet. This is my awesome general, so... Gong... Gong... Goy, whatever? Um, how about you just stop there? And we'll let him get up to there, and then we'll probably jump in on him. Actually, can we catch you there? Grasslands. Says we can. Yes, we can. So let's go ahead and catch you there. Alright, you don't have force march on, do you? You do not. So, 
Oh, he is coming in. Um, we'll turn on force march. Get ready to come in after you. Uh, you guys just go ahead and shift consolidate still. You guys shift consolidate. That's fine. All this stuff over here is okay. We don't want to piece. Oh, we can't piece out while we're at war. So that's right in battle. That's fine. All right, you guys, come on. Let's just go ahead and finish this stuff off. What you doing just sitting there? Alright, come on. Uh, he did it lock. Okay, I did not, was not paying attention. That's bad. Um, I think we'll be alright. Oh, you need... Are we going to be able to get the good general in time? Maybe. Okay, we got that finished, so we will give you the best general I have. Really? You can't have the best general yet? Alright, one day. If we're on turn off force march, we're not going to need that for now. You, now can you have the best general? Yes. Take the good general. You're fine. You're coming in. This is actually going to be a little sticky without all my troops being over here. Um, you, take the other general, who is really good, which is myself. And... Consolidate everything down, and we'll get ready to jump on these guys here. In fact, let's just go ahead and go get them. Uh, let's go this way. Maybe we can avoid the river crossing. This right here is going to be a little scary. Ah, oh, terrible rows. Come on. Zeros, back to back zeros. Uh, six, come on. There's 11 total. Right, I think we'll be okay. Oh, he did jump in on us over here, but that's okay. Oh, no, that's, that was us coming in on him from the angle. That's right. No, we're good there. We're good here. And honestly, after this is over, we may have enough war score to do what we want. Wait, how do we lose that? Was I looking at the wrong side the whole time? I don't think so. I must have been, though. Okay, well, I still think we have enough war score for what we want. We do. Take Beijing, take these three. Can we take that one? We could. Do I want that one? Might as well. It's more coast. Can't take that one. That's fine. So we take all this. What? That was weird. I thought shift clicking would... Doesn't shift clicking give you up as much money as you can? Oh well. I guess it's just 100. 100 ducats, all that. Take all this. Take what we need to get our decisions. And yeah. Send demands. Sure hope I didn't do something wrong there. But I think I... No, we're good. Got all that. United the Manchu tribes. More manpower recovery speed, which is hugely relevant right this second. Um... Some of my provinces lack cores, which we can do that very quickly. Although, do we? We can't burn these down anymore, can we? Not that I would, but I just kind of know want to know if it's a uh, an option. Uh, don't. Where was the button? I don't remember the button. I don't see it, so I don't, I'm assuming we can't. So that's good. That's fine. Um, mission. Uh, we'll go ahead and take them just to say, but it's going to take forever. Qing Dynasty. Let's come back to you. Let's come back to you. Let's do the core things real quick. Just plug those in. Provinces. can do the states. I can upgrade my government rank. We'll come back to that. Provincial unrest. That's fine. New idea. Okay, all of this stuff's fine. Let's do a look at the Qing Dynasty. What is this going to do for us? Uh, government rank of Manchu changes to empire. Qing becomes a permanent claim. Has Gains a permanent claim on South China region. On the Xenan region. The North China region. Uh, we get increased centralization until the 25th of August of 1800, so that's 10 years, giving the following effects. More unrest, which, eh, and but less autonomy change, so, or autonomy change in the negative, I should say. Confucian becomes the new state religion. Tangri becomes harmonized. Beijing will become the new capital. Culture in Beijing will become Manchu, that's awesome. And then Qing gains core on Beijing and gains 10 prestige. Lots of really cool things. So... Yeah, I mean, there's nothing to do but let's hit the button. Ha ha ha. 
cultural union gained. Due to reaching the government rank empire, we are now cultural union of Evenki culture. All Evenki cultures now are now accepted in our realm. I have a CB against Ottomans. Interesting. Uh, just a conquest. Okay, fair enough. We've lost the Mandate of Heaven CB against the Ming. So if we won that war, did we have to get like a certain war score? I bet we did. Okay, so that was a huge mistake, just not getting that war score maxed out as much as possible. I, I forgot about looking at that. But I mean, one of the big things was I wanted to defeat the Ming and become the, the, the Qing Dynasty, which is pretty cool. This is a cool dragon. I mean, come on. That's, that's pretty cool. Um... Obviously, people want controlled provinces. There's some issues with our religion stuff. Come on. Why is it not sorting the other direction? But that's fine. Let's go ahead and just send you to there, just to start. Claims on provinces I do not own, which is a whole lot of provinces. Truce will expire. So we have, you know, eight years until we can go to war against the Ming again, which we may do that. And, and see if we can go ahead and do the Mandate of Heaven now that I realize I kind of goofed a little bit, which is fine. Um, let us rebuild our troops, rebuild our uh, manpower, all that stuff, and just go right back at the Ming again. As the Qing Dynasty now, no longer Manchu. Uh, lots of provincial unrest, but I think that'll start to kind of tick away a little bit. Quality ideas, Corvettes. Oh yeah, that's that one. We'll circle back to you. Uh, states are unhappy, which is fine, but there are some states that want some control. So, um, come over here. States, clergy. We'll just give you something kind of over here. I know so a lot of these need to be converted. So one of you guys over here. Looks like that one right there will be happy. And I don't know. I don't know if it needs to be converted right away or not. It, it's fine. Cool. Um, nice kind of bright yellow color. Totally forgot about the Empire of China thing. To just, to, I, I'm assuming we had to get all the way to 100 percent or something like that, but. I got really excited. I got too excited about getting all these provinces and becoming the Qing Dynasty that I've been trying to do this whole time. Um, so I'm perfectly fine with that. We did move our capital to Beijing, which means our capital is right on his border. Um, but that's okay. Um, the... What else? Um, Yeah, I don't know. I think that's good. We'll go ahead and unpause. Let things run for a bit. Um, Anti-Christian Edict. More missionary strength, less improved relations. Eh, I'm not going to do that. I think that one's fine to leave alone. Construct Forbidden City. Stability at least three. Have a whole bunch of gold. Get the Statesman, um, which we do have. So we have a lot of that. So we just need stability up to three. And we can get that. We lose 50 power, but we get uh, less stability costs, more yearly prestige. Well, but it's kind of cool. Get the privateers at some point, I suppose. Well, we may do that. Why don't we just bump stability up? Ah, uh, we need a little bit more uh, admin power. All right, so I guess we can start moving all these troops up here, getting them back grouped up again. Let's get all you guys up somewhere so local or central, I should say. You move you back. Let's move you guys back and just kind of get you guys just off the border at least. I mean, not that the Ming are going to go to war against us right away, but I think it'll be fine. All right, we can go back up to speed four, though. Uh oh, what just happened? Um. State modifier with clergy has expired. Expired. Uh, great advisor died. CB against the Ming. Oh, stability job. Did we just lose our emperor? We did. But our ruler is, this new ruler is still really, really good. I mean, 622. That's pretty awesome. Um, how old is he? 27. It's got the one with the settler increase, which eh, it's a thing, I suppose. Uh, let's get you another advisor. Trade efficiency. I think I like the trade efficiency. That's fine. I, again, we can probably go for the plus threes, but yeah. We kind of won the game as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as my goals for the game. Um, 
winning about winning a war against the Ming Dynasty was a huge one, and then obviously becoming the, becoming the Qing is is just I'm pretty ecstatic about that. So really, at this point, oh, you guys can go back out and do some trading. You're protecting a uh, trade. Eighteen and the Beijing Hangzhou actually looks like it has more. Malacca is actually even more than that. So why don't we get you guys to just stop there, get you guys to stop there, and we'll maybe send you guys over to the Malacca's. Uh, and, wow, we got a huge naval force limit. Um, might as well start capping it out. Um, get rid of one of these. Beijing, one of yours. Uh, actually, does you need to have one? Suwon. Where is Suwon? Right there. Let's go ahead and cancel yours. That's just one, and that's fine. I mean, Beijing is trying to construct, construct ten, but I'm not that worried about it. Uh, so you guys go protect trade in. I guess the Malaccas. I mean, I'm assuming this value is correct. Let's go do that. Uh, how much do I have in the Beijing trade node now? Not a lot. Oh, I got some, actually. Let's see how much do I have. Uh, we might actually have enough to move our trading thing over here. Global Trade Hub. Coastal Center of Trade. Oh, that's that's right. That's where the, uh, the technology boost came out of. Um, do I want to move my trading port here? Uh, we are at, we are at more than 53%, so it, it might be worth it. Let's check. Um, first of all, let's let the ships get to where they're going to be, and we're going to kind of evaluate that first. Oh, is our army really getting attritioned? Um, where are you? Army that's getting attritioned. Right there. Split in half, go there. Perfect. Alright, did our navy get on site? Uh, where are they at? Hello, Navy. Where'd you go? Yeah, they're down there. So we're at 49. So let's move our trade hub to Beijing. And I think that'll be fine. This cost us some diplo, but I'm okay with that. So right at, right at just side of 50. Okay, now we're at 67.11. So that's a big, big boost. And then the other thing we need to do is... Um, are we? I don't know that we need to collect trade here anymore. I think we can move this guy over, right? Because I think we'll collect that automatically. So, something I forgot this entire time. Um, how about we move you over? Okay, we're moving from there to there. We can move you over to the Nippon and come down to uh, Hangzhou so it gets a double jump. I think that's probably good. Transfer trade power. The guy that's in Beijing. So, we're at 67.1. Let's see what we get to. 64.11, it dropped a little bit, but I don't think he had arrived yet, had he? Oh, it looks like he has. Uh, I think it's technically lower, but you know what? I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Liberty Desire, ignore coring distance, global naval engagement. I don't know what that is, but none of these other ones really matter whatsoever. So how about we just take it to see what it does? Global naval engagement. I actually really don't know what that is. <laughs> Neo-Confucianism. Um, we get a little bit more unrest, we get more missionary strength and more le yearly legitimacy, or we get some more tolerance of the heretics. Well, let's be tolerant. Maybe that'll help some of the rebel factions. Uh, free advisor slot. Um, land maintenance modifier. Free and four speed. Fort defense. You know what? I think we can't afford to spend a little bit more money on one of these guys. Splurge a little bit. Well, I say that. We're only making 46 ducats. We were making 100 at one point. Um, you know what? Let's take this guy. He'll kind of pay for himself a little bit. And actually, that does mean, I just realized... 
Oh, there we go. Free stability. I take, I'll take it. I like it. What was the thing we were going to do that was going to give us some... Uh, we need three stability for... Oh, yeah. Make the Forbidden City. Uh, riches of the Clergy. Clergy loses some loyalty, which is pretty high already. We gain some good gold, and they lose a little bit of influence. Yeah. Or we can gain some prestige. We don't really need the prestige. You know, let's just do that one. The military leader has left us. We've actually down to... We lost our, gener our, our main leader. Our, our general, I should say, our emperor. That's the word I'm trying to say. And then we just lost our really amazing leader, which is unfortunate. Alliance. Uh, do we need another alliance? I guess we do. Um, I don't know where you are. I don't know if we care about you. Yeah, I don't think you're close enough to be relevant. So we're going to ignore you. All right, decision. Um, construct Forbidden City. Needs a stability at least three. So why don't we do that just for fun? Uh, over here, we can get rid of... Um, uh, can we get rid of this one? I think we can. How do we get rid of these? Oh, repealed. Okay, I, looked, I read that wrong. Okay, so I'm fine. We're fine with that. That's not the big deal. I thought it said repeated. I'm like, repeated? That's weird. Um, so now we should be able to construct the Forbidden City. Just to say we did. Why not? It's kind of cool. Take an idea. We're going to hold off again. Uh, I don't care about that initial decision. In fact, you know what? Let's just get rid of you. And that's fine. CB against Memmingen? Who in the world is Memmingen? Weird. Okay. Well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Uh, things got exciting. It was fun. It was awesome. And we are now the Qing Dynasty. So I feel pretty happy. Even if we don't do anything else with this campaign, I'm pretty happy with that. But we are going to try at least one more time against the Ming to really, truly get the Mandate of Heaven. Because that would be pretty awesome. I do appreciate you watching. Thank you and goodbye.